Try this whole video again. I think I want to do this whole video again. Hi. So, I'm going to make this a short video because I already filmed something and then the sun went down. Um, and it was a whole mess. But I, during quarantine, I have watched an amazing anime. And it's called Yu-Gi-Oh! But there are many different Yu-Gi-Oh! Um, spin-offs. So this is Yu-Gi-Oh! Duel Monsters, the original. Um, I've already watched one of the Yu-Gi-Oh! spin-offs, which was Yu-Gi-Oh! Sex Soul. But, um, which I found out that not many people like. Which is disappointing, but, um, you know, what's done is done. But I actually really like this spin-off and I want to talk about it. So I've already had some knowledge of the card game and how the game works so it was pretty easy to understand but i'm going to talk about all five seasons very shortly because my parents were listening if you haven't watched the show i'm sorry but you're gonna have to watch it so please stop watching if you haven't watched it i genuinely think you should watch it and then come watch my review and then you might disagree with me Season one, um, Pegasus is Bay. He's a great character. I love his, I love him as a protagonist. Antagonist. Um, I, I, just, I really like that Joey like had to save his sister Serenity, and he had to save his grandpa's soul from the shadow realm. What a start to the series! Pretty great. Season two, um, Kaiba just made his own tournament and said, "You know what? I'm gonna win. I don't care." that I lost. I am the best. I'm the king of games. I'm gonna do it. Even though Yugi literally doesn't care about the title, he just wanted to save his grandpa. But Kaiba was like, no, I'm the best. I'm gonna do it. It was pretty dumb. I hate Kaiba so much. Even though everyone loves him, I don't. I hate him. He's so dumb. I'm sorry, but he's the dumbest character I've seen. And this is gonna be one of my biggest rants. Kaiba is dumb. As a duelist, he's amazing. His strategies are perfect. I just, he's awesome. But when it comes to the simple stuff, when everyone says, hey, this is real. Yugi has a 5,000 year old spirit in his puzzle. This is real. Um, you just had a vision. You're a, you also existed in ancient Egypt. I don't know. This is all the way he's like, no, it's dumb. I mean, you're hallucinating. You're all lying. Uh, you're so dumb. I don't believe in this nonsense. Stop talking about the millennial items. I don't believe this stuff. He is dumb. You have uh, the joke that Kaiba doesn't believe in this stuff. So, for one season, two, I'm, like, I'm gonna actually gonna kill myself. Season one, haha, <laughs> Kaiba doesn't believe in this kind of stuff. That's fine. Season two, oh, okay, it's kind of. <laughs> it's so funny. He doesn't believe in it. Season three, oh dear, he's really in denial. Season five, I'm sorry, man, but you're actually dumb. Dumbass, or I, I can't. I just I've had it with this character because he's so annoying. And at some point, like he went in season five, he went back to Egypt and he saw his um, other self. And then Yugi, the pharaoh, was there, and you know it, there was proof everywhere that this is all real. But he just went, nope, not real. I don't care. I just wanna. Uh, duel the fair one last time. I don't care about any of you. It was annoying. It, it really was. I really don't like him anymore. I, I was just disappointed. Season two was, you know, Kaiba's own duel tournament. Um, it was unnecessary. I don't remember a single thing that happened. Yeah, another thing I didn't like about season two, which I forgot to say, is that it would have one duel but they broke it into four parts i hated it it was so long and unnecessary and it just made me bored because i wanted the duel to be over and it was so annoying and i actually got really angry because i just wanted it to end season f um in season three they were supposed to have um a really big duel between yugi and uh, Merrick, but then the virtual world was kind of a waste of time. Kaiba said the same thing. He was like, this whole thing is a waste of time. It was a waste of time. We did learn a few stuff. 
but we did learn a few stuff about Kaiba and his past and why he's kind of like this, which was fine, but it was a waste of time. It was kind of cool, but you know, season four was also very interesting because, and I really wanted this to happen and it did, but in the most heartbreaking way. I kind of wanted the Pharaoh to take over for a certain time when Yugi's kind of lost in a world or something. But yeah, Yugi lost his soul. You know, the Pharaoh was just stuck in y Yugi's body for like um, 20 episodes and it was so heartbreaking because he was just so angry and sad. It was kind of cool, but it was... It was so... It was so sad. <laughs> Um, and then season four had like a really good villain, I guess, um, but it was just, yeah, they had a good antagonist. Um, Pegasus, I, I kind of forgave him at that point. I was like, wow, Pegasus is actually a really cool character. And he was, I actually liked him from the start. Um, yeah, so season four was actually not that bad. Season five was, um, kind of weird because... They just want, everyone just wanted a break from all this nonsense and they just, they really did. But they just ended up going on even more adventures. That's fine. There was this small tournament that Kaiba ran. It was Kaiba World, the, the attraction park thing, I don't know. And I'm sorry, this is distracting you. He's distracting me. And Rosie's at the back. She's just being annoying. Um, in season five, they had this small tournament thing. And it was actually kind of good. I didn't mind it. It was a cool tournament. Then what I liked about season five onwards is that um, Yami or the Pharaoh, who was just at first confused because he just went to the past and then he just woke up and he was he's just been appointed um, king of Egypt and he's just confused. But then it was kind of really funny and then say it was actually kind of good because the whole point of me watching the show was that I wanted to know what the secrets of the Millennium Puzzle and what the secrets of Pharaoh's past was. So it was kind of entertaining at first. Um, and then Yugi came along and stuff. It was fine. Um, it took a bit long. But overall, it was beautiful. Kaiba was then... Um, it's a spoiler, but then uh, the other Kaiba was appointed um, Pharaoh. I like the new characters. I really liked, I did not see it, but I was kind of like, I really recognize, I recognize these characters from somewhere. I liked how they set up the whole thing. It was like the Dark Magician's origin. It was kind of cool. The last episodes. He's really biting me. Guys, fun fact, to scare my bird. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Rhea just smacked my phone and then the stone figure that was behind it to support the camera fell off and everything broke. That's fine. This video was a curse from the start. We literally have one minute and I'm ending this. That's fine. I'm just holding him so he doesn't scream. Right, um, the last few episodes. Um, if you know me in real life, you know that I have a problem with endings. Doesn't matter how bad the show is. If I have connected with any of the characters emotionally, I will just end it. I, it's like they're my very, they're like my best friends and I've known them for years, even though I finished, <laughs> I finished this show in about two weeks or less, um, which is um, quite an achievement even though like each season was like 40 episodes, so. The last few episodes were kind of heartbreaking. I was really r rooting for the Pharaoh to win just so he could stay, but Taya kind of represented me in a way because she was always like, I don't want the Pharaoh to leave, I want him to stay, and then everyone had to say, come on, he has to leave, otherwise you know, he has to stay here for like 5,000 years and we don't want that. Uh, which was kind of nice because the show itself was like, don't worry, he's fine, but he has to leave. You kind of have to understand everything has an end. And I have a problem with endings, so I, yeah, I may or may not have cried uh, a couple hours ago, but it was a really heartwarming thing. And 
I am going to be watching the free movies. I might make a part two. Who knows? But I'm really looking forward to the movies. I hope that doesn't ruin everything. Um, I knew it was kind of... I knew what to expect. I knew that Yuvi and Atem, King Atem, Yami, the spirit, whatever, I knew that they were going to have one last scene because the same thing happened in Yuvi's Exo and I really wish I hadn't watched it because I knew exactly what was going to happen. They had one last fight and it ended me because I loved them as a duo and I also really liked Yuvi and Yami as a duo. So it's just a thing. It's it's hard for me. Um, but it was really sweet. It was a really good show. I kind of, I really enjoyed it. I also found um, the manga. It's so different from the actual show, but it's so entertaining. And I have, I like the show so much that I'm going to be doing a bunch of artworks on it. I might do a sketchbook tour. I, I have bought a new sketchbook. So I'm going to be doing a lot of art stuff. I really recommend you watch it. Um, also, another thing, which people might scream at me, I had to watch the English dub instead of the Japanese dub because it was on Netflix and it was only three seasons. And I actually thought the show itself was three seasons. But when I found out it was five, I was shocked. Netflix just didn't release the whole thing and it didn't have a Japanese dub. So I, by the time in season three, I was completely used to the English dub. When I went to the Japanese dub, it was a whole different show. And I did actually watch a couple of episodes. So now I know the Japanese version of, you know, Taya and Tristan. His name is Honda. <laughs> Where are these coming from? And Joey is Japanese name, which I cannot pronounce. Overall, go watch Yu-Gi-Oh! You will like it. And also, if I had a pound for when the... Pharaoh said darkness, destiny, and friendship. I would be a millionaire. Thank you for watching. Bye. And stop. Please stop. Me. Oh, guys, what the hell is it?